Hi everyone, it's Danny. So today I'm going to be answering a question sent in by Livani, and she's asking how long does it take for flower spikes to grow completely and bloom? Now there are some factors that actually influence this time. And first of all, there's temperature. The lower the temperature, the slower the metabolism of the plant is. And the higher the temperature, the faster the metabolism is. So in low temperatures, um, the total time it will take for flower spikes to develop will be uh, greater than in um, warmer temperatures. Now this is the main um, factor that influences this time, but also there's light, obviously. The more sun you will have, the higher the temperatures, so it's a sort of a indirect um, let's say influence and also the health of the plant. The healthier it is, uh, the fest faster it will develop the flowers. Now let's take a, a look at a few varieties and see um, on an average how long it takes for the flower spikes to develop and bloom. For Phalaenopsis orchids, it usually takes about two to three months. If you keep them in your home and your temperatures are warm, it will take about two months uh, for you to see the first blooms. If you have them in a lower temperature environment, like I do, it can take up to three, three and a half months, I believe. Vanda orchids are usually fast bloomers. It can take anywhere from one month to two months for the flower spike to develop. In warmer conditions, it will take about one to one and a half months uh, from the first time you see the flower spike to the time you see it in full bloom because the buds tend to open pretty fast in a matter of a week or something. Now in lower temperatures, it can take up to two months uh, for the flower spike to fully develop and bloom. But usually Vanda orchids do bloom quite fast. Oncidium orchids and intergenerics um, are just so different and they have totally different parentages from one plant to another that is uh, uh, in this Oncidium family. So you can have Oncidiums that can bloom after two months when you see the flower spikes um, and some Oncidiums can take up to three months to actually develop the spike. Um, in my experience, uh, the Sherry Baby Oncidium but also the Odontocidiums which tend to produce thicker and longer flower spikes, they will take uh, more time to develop, up to three, three and a half months uh, maybe for you to see the flowers. Now the flowers tend to open pretty fast um, in respect to um, when the first flower opened to the last one. In a matter of about, I don't know, a week and a half or two weeks, you'll have it all in bloom. The worst thing about it is that the flowers tend to not last that long and shortly after um, the last bloom is open or uh, I don't know, maybe a week or two after the last bloom is opened, you're gonna have to um, pick of the fallen flowers from the bottom that first opened. Dendrobium phalaenopsis are fast bloomers as well. It can take up to one month or a month and a half from the first time you see the flower spike to the time you see the flowers. Now usually the flowers can last quite a long time, maybe three months or something, um, but I tend to believe that in springtime they tend to last a bit more because they have more light. Uh, now my Dendrobium phalaenopsis didn't last that much. I got a total amount of two months blooming, um, which is fine. It's in the average, but I know I can get three months out of them. I just need more sun. Cattleya orchids can be very different. Now there are two types of cattleyas, the ones that produce the buds directly when the pseudobulb matures and uh, the ones that produce a sheath. Now these guys with the sheath can take several months from the time you see the sheath and the time that the pseudobulb matures until you actually see the bloom. It can take even six months for you to see some blooms. It all depends on the genetics and um, uh, the environment and so on. But if you're dealing with a Calia orchid that doesn't have a sheath, you can get this flower spike in about um, a month and a half uh, from the time you see the buds until they are fully open. With the uh, with the sheets, unfortunately, um, it's a waiting game. I'm not sure what to tell you. I had sheets that develop pretty fast, sheets that are still on the cattleyas, and uh, sheets that do have buds, but I have them on for six months. So yeah, it's a gamble with cattleyas. It all depends on the genetics of um, the plant, actually. With Dendrobium nobili orchids, you have to wait about two months from the first time you see uh, the little buds forming to the time they're actually in bloom. Maybe a month and a half to two months or something like um, like this. It's not too much and uh, I think the wait is pretty well worth it because these flowers will last quite a long time on the canes, maybe about two months or even more. 
Okay, hopefully I answered your question and thank you for sending in the question. If you guys have other stuff you want to ask me, just do so in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Either with a comment if it's a short question, either with a video. Okay, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.